Hello, my name is Edward Choi. Today I would like to talk about hydrogen fuel cell vehicles and their future. Okay, so we already see lots of hybrid vehicles or electric vehicles on the road. Well, now these type of cars are not a rare piece of technology that we can only see in a lab anymore. They've been on the field of automotive industry for more than a decade now. Well, actually, electric cars, however, still have one major dilemma. Where does all the electricity charged into these cars come from? Well, I brought a little pie chart over here. If you take a look, more than 40% of all the electricity comes from coal-burned thermoelectric power plants, which contribute the most to global warming. Ironic, isn't it? Can we still say that EVs are 100% eco-friendly and zero emission cars. However, there is a truly economic, eco-friendly solution for this in the automotive industry. Although this technology is not fully commercialized yet, many businesses and companies, governments are working on tax refunds, many new laws and infrastructure for it. It's called a hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle. It's a pretty long name, so we can shorten it down to FCEVs. FCEVs use hydrogen to power the fuel cell battery placed at the center of the vehicle. In other words, it can generate electricity without emitting single carbon dioxide. Hydrogen reacts with oxygen, if you can see the picture over here to generate water vapor and energy. The energy is then stored in the fuel cell battery to power the motors either in the front or the rear axle of the car. Did you guys know that hydrogen can produce three times more energy than coal of the same mass? Now we know that this is a cool technology. What do mainstream car manufacturers think about this cutting edge technology? Left is Akio Toyota, president of Toyota Motor Corporation. He thinks that the automotive industry is shifting towards hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicles. Toyota already produced their first FCEV a few years ago. However, on the electric house, Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla, claims and he actually likes to call the word fuel cells as full cells. He says that over 50% of energy is lost during the energy transfer from hydrogen to electricity. Here's a little graph. You can take a look. Now I would like to point out a few pros and cons of the FCEVs compared to normal electrical vehicles. For the pros, hydrogen vehicles have a longer range per one full charge. If we compare the Nexo from Hyundai and the Model 3 from Tesla. The Nexo has a range of 609 kilometers, while the Tesla only has 354. The vehicle charging time is also a great advantage because it only takes to fill a Nexo from empty to full in just three to five minutes. Well, for an electric car, as we all know, it takes several hours. There are also many bad sides. Since hydrogen technology is not perfectly commercialized yet. Hydrogen vehicle char charging stations lack their amount. The platinum catalyst, which is for the fuel cell battery, is also very expensive. Platinum is white gold, and it is more expensive than gold of the same mass. Our nation's ready for their CEVs. The Korean government is planning to fund hydrogen car users with more than $22,000. In addition to that, the buyers will, see, will, will receive tax discounts, a 50% discount on highway and parking fees. Hydrogen fuel cell vehicles are still at preparation stage, but I'm pretty sure it'll be an evolution, a big step forward to the automotive industry. Thank you.